Hello everyone, I'm KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. This is a severe weather update. It's just a little before 1 o'clock. We don't have any storms that have popped up yet. And it is a very conditional risk for severe weather. Let me explain what that means and get you caught up with the latest so you know what to expect. First of all, severe weather risk does include an enhanced risk of severe weather for eastern sections of northwest Arkansas. You can see the counties included. This does include Huntsville, Hinesville, as well as Eureka Springs, Berryville, Harrison, Jasper, areas in Newton County. Now that moderate risk is a little bit farther to our northeast. You see that does include uh, eastern Missouri as well as southern Illinois. This is for damaging winds as well as tornado potential. Now when we look at the tornado threat, and the main threats with these storms will be damaging winds and large hail, but you can see we get clipped in the hatched area for tornadoes. That means a high probability of strong tornadoes, EF2 to EF5, Notice the higher risk is near Poplar Bluff in southeastern Missouri. And this evening we've got a medium risk in western sections of northwest Arkansas and a low risk in eastern Oklahoma. The large hail risk is also high as well. And damaging winds are also high, mainly though in eastern sections of northwest Arkansas. So you can see that that is mainly uh, affected off to our northeast. So what's one of the things that's preventing thunderstorms right now? a cap or a lid and all this cloud cover. Now there were a few breaks in the clouds over Harrison but the high clouds have returned and those high clouds are really keeping the temperatures down but we're still in the lower to middle 70s and we do have plenty of instability and moisture. Now currently on radar there isn't a whole lot popping up. This is some mid and upper level precipitation coming out of the cirrus deck and a little bit of extra lift. Also a few sprinkles every now and then. Temperatures remain in the lower 70s and those dew points are climbing as well as we are now in the lower to middle 60s for dew points. A lot deeper moisture and a lot higher moisture content is just to our south. That's going to be surging north with the south wind throughout the rest of the day and you can see all that moisture that is beginning to stream into the area. Now we do have the warm sector which is the area between the warm front and the dry line. This is where we're looking for thunderstorm potential uh, to develop. The question is, will they develop? A lot of computer models say, no, it's not going to happen. Some of them saying it will. Now, when we look off to our west, here comes the energy that's swinging in. You can see a very large low pressure system, a lot of jet stream energy. That's all working its way eastward. Let's talk about timing and storm placement. And first of all, you can see the high resolution rapid refresh going a little bit high on the precipitation, but watch what happens throughout the daytime hours. Now, possibly one little isolated cell could develop near Little Rock. As we move throughout the nighttime, you'll see some storms try to move into the river valley at around 10 o'clock. Now, this does not mean this is exactly what's going to happen. It just kind of shows you the trends. Notice how the storms really crank up as they get a little bit farther east at midnight, but there could be additional thunderstorms that pop up after midnight, and the tornado potential definitely exists across northwest Arkansas. So when we look at that severe weather threat, the highest threat will be wind. When we look at the moderate threats, we're talking hail and tornado, especially for areas in eastern sections of northwest Arkansas. Uh, flooding, it doesn't look like a major threat because these storms will be moving in rather quickly. Timing on this, and of course all of this is subject to change, especially if a round of storms pops up during the afternoon. It looks to be uh, during the late night hours into the early morning as that cold front catches up with the dry line. Now, you need to prepare for severe weather and any possible warnings that come out across the area, so there's multiple ways to do that here with KNWA and Fox 24. Of course, we'll be giving you weather updates online, also on Facebook Live, and when we're doing weather coverage, we'll also be live streaming on our apps. That's NWA Weather Authority and KNWA, so download those if you can. We'll also be streaming on the radio if you don't have a, a fancy smartphone, but you have an old-fashioned radio. You can see the frequencies for KLRC 90.9 and Weather Call, also a great subscription. You can even sign up for a free trial I'll just go to that link on your website, uh, Weather Call, uh, under nwahomepage.com. So that's the latest from your Weather Authority. We're continuing to watch for the potential for storm development. It's questionable if they even develop. Remember, the risk is there, but you could have the highest risk in the world, and if there's no storms that pop up, then you're not going to see any severe weather. Rain will also be very hit and miss. Most of you won't even see any rainfall, so you'll hear a lot about severe weather potential and nothing really develops. If that happens, well, that's because the storms formed a little bit farther east. So we'll continue to monitor the situation, but until then, keep it here with your weather authority for the latest weather information.